Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and this is Rogue Shooter from Hippomancer. This game is currently available on Steam for a price of $10. If you are at all on the fence about this game, even after watching my wonderful video, you can try out a demo which is available on Steam as well. Check the description below for links to all of that information. So what is this game? Well, as the name implies, it is a roguelike shooter. What do I mean by roguelike? Well, think more randomly generated items and weapons and permadeath and less turn-based RPG. What do I mean by shooter? Well, think more 90s style classic shooter and less modern military shooter. Indeed, it's a game that puts a premium on speed and not so much on looking in the Y axis. That's right, you cannot mouse look up or down in this game. Everything takes place in this single plane. As you will see, very Wolfenstein-esque sort of uh, level design here. We'll talk a little bit about that as we go along. Uh, so you got some different difficulty options here. You will be able to unlock a lot. There's a lot to unlock in this game, a lot of replayability, a lot of depth. Uh, we are going to start on hardcore because it's the way Rogue Shooter was meant to be played. And you have a whole lot of backgrounds here. Backgrounds will sort of determine how you start out. They're kind of like your class, I suppose. Uh, but uh, Prisoner is sort of your challenge. Challenge yourself. You don't start with any weapons. You get an extra perk. Sure, that's great. But that perk that's going to let you reload faster doesn't really mean a lot when you don't have a gun to reload. I like the scientist because he's sort of middle of the road. Uh, the soldier, much more shooty-shooty, comes with some armor intact. It's a good place to start uh, for inexperienced players because he's going to be able to take a little more damage. But I usually go with the scientist, and then for my perk, I usually pick the perk that gives me 15% more health. So you got all kinds of stuff going on here. You can reload faster, you can uh, upgrade the range on your radar, yada yada yada. We're just going to pick Unbreakable, and as you can see, tons more to unlock, tons more to unlock. Uh, Intel is sort of a persistent currency that you'll collect that will collect during runs and then I think persist outside of the game to allow you to uh, unlock stuff like this. So play the game to unlock more of the game. You know that formula. And indeed, my name is Big Dave, so let's go ahead and start out. We're going to start every level here in the lobby, every game here in the lobby. And really, there's not a whole lot of point to the lobby. After you get some upgrades, I suppose, there are things you could do here in the lobby. You could go over to the vending machine and buy more ammo, stuff like that. Uh, rations, you're going to want to keep an eye on those. It kind of works like fuel and FTL. I believe you consume one ration uh, every level. So you're going to have to make sure that you've got enough food to actually survive. And I suppose as a scientist, we're here on the space station Helios in hopes of doing science stuff. So we're going to descend into the depths of the space station one floor at a time and apparently champion the cause of science to the alien heathen races. So we start out with a pistol and a chainsaw gun that shoots chainsaws, which is pretty freaking awesome. But first, let's acquaint ourselves with the user interface here. In the lower left-hand corner, you're going to see something that you're going to refer to a whole lot, and that is your radar. That circle thing that sort of spins around when I move will show you enemies when they are nearby. In the middle right of the screen, you're going to see your map. That's going to fill in slowly as you go, and that is going to allow you to see things like items that are waiting for you to pick up in the level. In the lower right, we're going to see our ammo. In the upper center, we've got our health in green. And on the upper right, we have the threats remaining. If we can get it down to 50% of the threats on the level, then we can actually exit early. However, in general, you don't really want to exit early because exiting early generally means that you've left something behind. You've left behind valuable resources that would help you in future levels. Uh, so this is pretty much the shooting. You are shooting again in this single sort of X, uh, in this X axis here. There is no aiming. Uh, you can, uh, man, these guys are pretty smart. Almost too smart. You can kick. I always love an FPS that can kick, and indeed you can. Uh, so we get a plus two minigun here. Hell yeah, we're going to pick that up. Quickly jump here into the uh, inventory screen, and you can see that we have this badass minigun. I'm going to replace my pistol with that for just a moment. And it takes bullets, so we are going to expend most of our bullet ammo in just a couple of moments. Uh, you can see the aesthetic here, uh, cartoony sh cell shaded graphics. I like it personally. There will be people who do not. Uh, so let's see. We are down to 75% threats remaining. Let's see if we can find some stuff to chew through with our awesome minigun. Oh, good. Takes a minute to ramp up. I like a minigun that has a ramp up time. Whoop. Stuck on a corner there. And trying to free myself. And now gun down this alien scum. 
I saw oh, something on the radar, and then it disappeared. Oh, it's across the hall there. All right, it's coming for me, though. Let me change over to my chainsaw gun and give this guy... I was trying to think of a witty, you know, action movie thing to say. I was going to say, ask him a question, but then I have a saw, so that doesn't really work. But you, you don't really come here for my witty repartee. I don't really know why you come here, actually. Uh, well, that's all threats neutralized, so we're going to take a tour around the level. What we're looking for on the map are little yellow uh, boxes, little yellow markers like that one right there. That's going to show us that there's something that we can grab, something we can pick up, an item in the level that we definitely want to uh, to grab, because it's going to give us more survivability or more ammo or a better weapon, etc. Uh, think Binding of Isaac. You know, there is a certain wisdom in exploring every floor, every section of every floor of the Binding of Isaac, uh, if you think you can survive, because it's going to allow you to find potentially items or consumables that will indeed help you to conquer the game. But we're done on this floor, so let's go ahead and head to the next. Uh, once you clear 100% of the threats, you can exit uh, from this uh, menu. Prior to that, you do have to walk to the exit. So the next floor, floor two, the engineering level. All right, what do we got? Lots of robots here. I would imagine on the engineering level. So it looks pretty hairy as we get out of the elevator. These guys will throw bombs at us. We don't like that. But we can gun them down pretty efficiently with our minigun, methinks. Okay, so I'm just kind of trying to give some of these guys a chance to come out of the woodwork so that I can then corner myself, which is never, uh, never wise, and gun them down, then run out of ammo and look like a fool who is going to die. Away! All right, all right. And now we, we are in a dire situation here. What I need is more bullets. What I don't have is more bullets. So we're going to pepper them with saw blades in the hopes of surviving. And indeed we did. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, uh, we'll take a turret. Sure. And where is our turret? Oh, we have cleared all the threats. Luckily, 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 we are still alive. So we're going to pick up some red matter that might come into play here in just a moment. Uh, you will notice at times of high tension, I do tend to get quiet. Oh, good. Five rations. Uh, that is because I'm trying to survive and uh, not necessarily talk about what I'm doing, because what I'm doing is uh, blatantly obvious. Well, you know, usually what I'm doing is sucking at this game, but it's pretty blatantly obvious when you see that. All right, let's take a, a moment to check our inventory here. We do have some more bullets now. We've got uh, we've got some uh, armor piercers. That's good. All right, so we're going to be able to do some combinations uh, when we get to the uh, safe zone. Every three floors, there's a safe zone. So we will hopefully be able to get there and actually do something interesting with uh, these different consumables, these science items and uh, things that we have. But for now, uh, let's just take a look at these fiery six shooters because I like the sound of that. It's a rare weapon. All right, it does take armor piercing ammo, though, so we're only going to have 50 shots. And we're going to put uh, put a little fire on people when we shoot them, so I like the sound of that. So let's jump in here to the computer core, and let's try to... Oh, they're all bunched up over there. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's try out our new guns, for sure. Here we go. He was intimidated by my six shooters. Oh, wow, that one-shotted him. I like that. Oh, my God, I've been slimed. All right, let's... Whoop. Oh, I like that a whole lot. That is a powerful weapon. I really enjoy that. So I'm carrying a lot more uh, in the way of gear, so I am starting to sort of be encumbered. You might notice that I'm a little bit slower now than I was at the start. Go ahead and reload there. And these weapons are, uh, yeah, these are the best weapons I think I've ever had. So I'm going to try to not throw this run away by being silly. All right, let's clear out here. <laughs> I love all the various positions he puts his arms in as he's shooting. Uh, what do we have here? A snazzy chest plate. Oh, no, no, you get back, get kicked. Thank you. All right, all threats neutralized. All right. Take a quick second to see if that snazzy chest plate is better than what we have. So we have a uh, plus one vest with a 30% deflect. This is a plus two snazzy chest plate with a 20% deflect. High deflect, low deflect. I don't know what those mean, 
but uh, snazzy armor doesn't do anything, but it looks damn good. Oh, okay, great. Well, you know, um, sure. We have awesome looking guns, so we might as well look good in the process. A little bit faster now with the snazzy armor on, so I like that. So apparently the uh, armor that actually helps you slows you down a little bit, and this armor, since it's just paper mache, doesn't really do anything. So we want to check out this last item here, up here and over, and see if this is... Oh, credits. Okay. Oh, no. That's not credits. That is a secure pad. All right. And anything else here that we can check out? Man, I'm a lot faster with this thing on now. I had sort of grown accustomed to the uh, other speed, and now I'm totally messing up my uh, turns. All right. I think we're done. Let's head to the safe room. We will uh, check out the safe room, and then I will bid you folks adieu, because I think you've pretty much seen what you need to see. And if you're interested in this game, you already know that you're interested in this game just from having watched all of this. So let's hit the workbench here, the tool bench, and uh, we can repair our items. You notice how that uh, has an 85% in orange there, letting you know that that item has uh, potentially sustained some damage. So you, potentially I cannot repair that item? I don't know. Can't repair rare items. Okay, so that, I guess, is the downside of a rare item. Uh, let's go ahead and repair our buzzsaw, and we'll also repair our pistol, since we're definitely going to be back on our pistol at some point. Uh, might as well repair there as well. And then let's go ahead and head over and take a look at our upgrade possibilities at this hanging drill here. <laughs> so we can upgrade a weapon for the cost of five tools. Tools, again, is what we were using to repair our items. You pick those up in the levels, you kind of find those as you go. Imagine you can't upgrade this. Yeah. Uh, so let's upgrade our pistol or minigun. Sure, let's upgrade our minigun. So now it's a plus three minigun. Excellent, excellent. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there we have it. So the only other thing you can really do in here is head over here and use those credits that you earned to restock ammunition. And I do believe that this was using armor piercing rounds, right? Yeah, AP. So we're going to stock up on AP ammo. And then we will uh, buy one, uh, one set of standard bullets for when we eventually run out with our badass fiery six shooters. And that's pretty much that. Now we're going to head into the uh, depths, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and bid you adieu. Uh, this is a very impressive game. Give you my final thoughts here. I really, really enjoy it. The aesthetic appeals to me, both visually and the gameplay aesthetic, because I am an old school player that has played many, many of these games. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to see a game like this coming out uh, to a fairly decent reception. Uh, much of the press that I've seen on it has been uh, mostly positive, and I, and I, I like the fact that... Uh, a game like this can come out, and uh, I think we've reached that point where a game like this can come out and, and you know, generally be uh, thought of as a pretty cool thing, not just a novelty uh, based on the fact that it is quote-unquote old school, but uh, that it's also just a good game that's using modern game ideas uh, to kind of make a game which is uh, in many ways classic. Oop, level up. But the gameplay here, you know, is time-tested. Uh, it maybe is a little bit old versus what we're used to today, but I don't think that in any way diminishes the, the quality of this game. Fast shooters, frenzied shooters, are a thing that I have loved for uh, the majority of my game playing life, and the opportunity to play another one really, uh, I'm not going to complain about it. I think Rogue Shooter really has a lot going for it. If you are indeed interested in Rogue Shooter, check the description below for all of the relevant links. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.